You guys, my jewelry stack today is off the charts. There's still a tag on over here. My friend Mason lives around the block for me. We've been friends for uh, several years now. He dropped off some of my stuff so that I could wear it. Um, some of his stuff. He has stacked me. So yeah, this is my jewelry stack. They are from Mally Maven, Mally underscore Maven. On Instagram, I'll put his website below. You can shop online or he goes um, every week to either, I mean, I can't remember, I'll have to ask him if he is currently doing the Silver Lake Flea or the Fairfax Flea or both. Not totally positive, we'll have to ask. And his stuff, it's just cool. He gifted me a bracelet some time ago. I was wearing it and then I was like, Mason, could I wear your jewelry for my video? It would be so gorgeous. So he let me, um, lucky me. So anyway, I wanted to highlight his small brand. He's a friend of mine and I love him. And not only that, but I want to highlight some other small brands that I've been flipping out over this week. We are going to start with and I hope this is the correct pronunciation. Dye Varun Cosmetics. We're gonna do a killer eye look with this. This is a Dew Drops palette. This is available for pre-sale. I'm gonna swatch these palettes for you because they're crazy. These are crazier than Danessa Mirix, I think. This one as well, this is the one that we're gonna use the mattes out of, and this one is available, and these are off the charts as well, and this is called the Gloomy Gardens palette. I also have some little bits from her, and it's really, really cool. This is really cool, because this like puts the flake in chroma flakes, like this is the shade Spooky, and yeah, we're just gonna get ready together. I'm gonna start by cooking, cooking my under eye so that I don't have to take off my base. I went ahead and put on a base because I didn't want to, uh, these videos, uh, they can go too long sometimes, you know? So we're just gonna keep the base and just cook it. Oh, but wait, before we cook our base, I did not contour and that's because I got a really cool indie contour block. This, similar to the Dew Drops palette, is not out yet, but it will be out soon. And only 30 of us girls got this on pre-sale. Uh, I believe it's gonna launch on TikTok shop and on her website. And this, she saw my videos about sort of more accessible tools. And this is easy to grab, get a good grip on this thing and just go to town. So we're gonna start with our contour, we're gonna cook the under eye and then we'll jump into our Dive Rune eye look. So I did try this once before, it's pig. Minted. So I'm gonna try to use less than I used last time, but I do like to get like a hard edge at the bottom of my contour because I feel like that is just exciting. I feel like you ever look at Paris Hilton's makeup, she always has a hard edge contour and I am about it. I'm about a hard edge contour. And this for the nose is crazy too because like, look, You can go so specific. I don't really know why I contoured like down the nose like a V. I also don't know why I'm tilted the wrong way. I'm sorry, I'll t tilt this way. Well, I actually do know. It's because I'm in a tall chair. I'm trying to get a better light on my face. I'm slouched in a tall chair. We're gonna blend that with this little BK Beauty brush. There's a contour brush that's even better, but do I know where it's located right now in my collection? No, I don't. Punch, punch, punch. I wanna keep this contour in the same place I put it. And look at that, very sharp. I don't quite know why there's shadows casting on my face and I haven't, I'm not like a brilliant lighter. I don't quite know how to do all the camera stuff. I started doing YouTube, what, two years ago maybe? And I just still don't know. I know about makeup, but cameras, I don't always know. And then we'll very carefully blend out that nose contour. I haven't really been contouring my nose like that lately. 
I just wanted to show you that because I feel like it's an honorable mention. That is a cool product. And then the Lord said, let there be baking. So we know what happened to the Givenchy. I think the hourglass is pretty close second. The only thing is hourglass doesn't have those brightening shades, you know? They have great shades, but they're not those color correcting ones. They're more like just covering the basis of the basis. I think there's three shades, light, medium, deep. Less exciting, less frilly, but works. And maybe we don't need all the crazy colors. I mean, I have all the Patrick one size colors, all of them, because they keep sending them. And I like it a lot, but I use translucent light, medium, deep on clients the most. So there's something to be said about just something simple. I'm gonna leave my bake on for a little bit so that it catches the shadow because we're gonna go hard with the glitters today. And also before we go hard with the glitters, I'm gonna swatch, watch these shades because the dew drops are crazy, okay? So let's start with the blue. This is the shade Drip. This is the shade Plop. This is Splosh, one of my favorites. Splash and Splish on the end. These are crazy, highly exciting. My face doesn't always show how I feel because um, I'm not very expressive, but these colors, they're just like Danessa, but cheaper and um, in varying palettes, so a little bit more customizable. We're gonna start over in this palette with the mattes. I don't know where we're going today. I wanna use that silvery shade, and I wanna use some of those toppers, and then I definitely wanna go in more gray and neutral today, so let's just begin and see what happens. Also, lovely mirror. Start conservative. I'm also using an indie brush. These are super, super nice by What's Up Beauty. This is this one R108. I use this a lot. And we're just going to trace the crease of the eye. So if you struggle with your shadow, look straight into a mirror and use a tiny little brush like this. See how little this is? This should fit right into the socket of the eye. Now, I will say the larger your eyelids are, the bigger the brush you can use. Because sometimes I have clients and I'm like, oh my God, this would take forever if I used a little tiny brush. So I go in with a bigger one. Could be like two times the size of this. Just depends. Some people have such big eyelids, like so much space there. It's very exciting for makeup. Uh, but if you're normal to maybe even on the smaller side, use something little tiny for safety. Earlier, I also primed with a little concealer. That's what I usually use. I do love the new Sigma Stick eyeshadow primer, but I forgot to use it, so I'll show that at a later date. And you just continually build up that color. Sometimes you don't even need darker colors to add depth. Sometimes if you're using a grayish tone, that gray will get really quite dark without trying and you just have to add more and more. I'm gonna stay somewhat conservative in terms of depth today. And I'll probably use my Sigma stick on the lid actually to get more stick out of the gray. Now we'll go in with that darker color and we'll just kind of connect in the outer V. And these shadows, these are nice. They're easy to use, buildable, pretty. Everything you want out of a matte shadow, the price is right. It just really depends on the colors you wear when you're determining like what eyeshadow to buy, whatever. But it's like, what are you actually gonna use? Cause you don't want your makeup to rot in your drawers. I think that's why I like to break up all my makeup because it just makes it so it's not gonna rot. Now, I really wanna show you this. So I'm gonna put it on the lid to kind of be like a priming substance for the glitters. And this dries down to a super matte situation. You can carve a crease with this. In fact, I will. 
Just give it a quick blend. And stop your blend about one quarter way of the lid out just because you don't need to cover up what you just did. Like we worked hard on that. Let's start with this gray color because I just want to use that. We'll switch. Oh my God. And I'm so glad I did. I'm sorry, but like usually darker colors and palettes like these, they don't give anything. You're excited and then you put it on and it's giving nothing, but this is giving glitter. This is giving solid. <gasps> and with the finger, I'm going to have to bleep out all my swearing. Oh, shall we just go in? I'm going to go in with this color. I was going to use the dew drops, but you guys, this one is actually crazier than the dew drops. It is so reminiscent of a chrome flake from Danessa Merix to me. And like, you'll see, I've put this on my face when I had a completely bare face a couple of times now because it looks, when it's on, it looks like a chrome flake. I have been around my house looking haggard. I've been sick and this came in when I was sick too. And I just put this on my lid because I can't resist. You know when you get new makeup and you immediately smear it all over your face? That was me with these palettes because they're just so epic and bright. Like, what is that? What are you putting in this? Let's do one drop of that plum, just a little, because I know that I'm doing a lot right now with what I have on, like the jewelry, the makeup. But I just really wanted to do a big indie brand celebration today. Cause how fun, how fun for a small brand to be this epic. Before we move on from this eye look, I think that we should try these drops on a wet brush. Cause again, it's giving chrome flakes. I took it out dry uh, the other day and was looking at it. I think it needs some spray or something to just lock it into the eye. I mean, this is pretty wild. Can you see this? This is the shade Spooky. I'm gonna wet a small brush and see if I can't get it on my face like this. Let me do a test. Oh wow, yeah. It's like, this is the flake in Chrome Flakes. This is it. What kind of secrets does this girl know? That's what I'm trying to find out. How does she know to get these? Where does she get it? Where does it come from? This is a Chrome Flake. It's just not suspended in a gel. So where did you get it? How do you know that this would be so cool? What is it made out of? Do other people know about this? Seems like they don't. I'm not gonna put too much cause I don't want it all over my fresh base. I feel as if I maybe even should have done my base second today, but it just takes too long, you know? Let's do a guide beauty. Um, wand. There is a knockoff of this. This is a knockoff. Remember when I got canceled for doing a Timu ad? Timu was new and I was like on the come up from my Trouble Teen series and then people were livid. They were so mad at me. I thought it was, you know, like we shop on Amazon. I didn't really realize that there was such a great difference. So I did this Timu ad and initially they like, they had hired me to do two parts. And so I posted the one and people were really upset. And I was like, well, what do I do? There's like another one coming and I, I need, I needed money at summer for makeup artists is slow. And so I was like, well, maybe I can just post the second part and then figure it out. And people were like demanding me to apologize and stuff. And I was so confused because I followed a lot of creators who had also done that video. Cause whenever they reached out to me, I didn't like know the brand. I never used it. And then they sent me all this stuff and I was like, this is pretty cool. And I saw other creators doing ads for them. Now, now would I ever do it? No, I wouldn't. Um, but at the time I didn't really know and I hadn't done my due diligence. And like, also it was like my, kind of like my first year working in social media. Like I never had done any, like many brand collabs before. And the ones I had done were like, the payments were like very small potatoes. So I was so excited for my Timu ad and then I, and then, and then I flopped for months because of it. And it actually ended up not being worth it at all because it kind of wrote me out of 
everything else that I could have possibly done. So lesson learned, and I'm glad I learned that early. It's just a dumb thing that I did. Uh, let's use these indie lashes. I would call it indie, even though he's Beyonce's makeup artist. He has his own brand called Rokael Beauty. And the brand, like, I don't see much on this brand, so I do feel like... I do feel like it's special. Because honestly, have you ever seen cat eye lashes like this? These are called Aurora Lights. I hope they're still available. I bought these on Flip. And whenever I buy things on Flip, I feel like they kind of pass through the market really easily, like, and then like I can't get them again. I don't think that's the case, but I did buy them on sale too. So it's like, are these discontinued? And that's why they're on sale. I don't know, but I really like them. And I've never had such success with cat eyelashes until I tried these. Uh, it looks like I, I use them and I put them back almost. And I don't use the longest ones, by the way. I use the second longest and I put two of the medium size side by side and then a short. I don't do it all over my lash, but these are something that's truly exciting. Everything in this video, like I just really wanted a fun video. Like I did a couple ads, you guys, this month. I know it's not fun, but it really took over my time. And I was had COVID in July, and then this month I got sick right before my birthday and stayed sick for eight days. I'm just now getting over it. That's why I'm back today. But like I could almost like I was almost like incapable of making any kind of fun stuff and only had to like cross my T's and dot my I's this month. And even kind of last month too, when I had COVID, when I had the cove. So how epic are these? I'm gonna put the other eye on off camera cause it's just, it's boring and I'll be right back. Let's use a little, not indie, but small-ish Sigma bronzer because I don't have an indie one. I have only that contour stick, which is slay, but I need some bronzer. This is the wrong brush for it. Not targeted at all, but I just kind of want to get it on and not take too much time on something that is not the theme of today's video. Struggling lately to stay focused. Like I try, but it's hard. I really like this Sigma though. It's the shade um, Matte Bronzer in the shade Light Slay. Also, I don't have an indie blush either. So we're just gonna do a quick little bit of flower nose. I feel like just a little baby pink is perfect because we've got a lot going on. And you guys, you're gonna be excited. Well, actually maybe you won't be, but I'm excited about the lip because we're gonna put on that crazy lip balm together. Uh, also, this is the Midsummer Flower Nose. <sighs> Gorgeous, stunning, amazing packaging. The packaging is an art piece. I'm like trying to figure out a place where I can lay it all out and like keep this makeup on display. This is like collector's makeup. It is plastic. Who knows really what's in it? I don't know, but it's so beautiful. The mirror as well, Flower Nose. Who knows? Only her. Now, so many people in the comments were like, try it on. This is an indie, I was calling it a lip at balm and a mom and on, you know, feminine mom and on. How do you say it? I don't know. Feminine on and on. Feminine on and on. It's a lip balm. It's a lip balm and a mom and on. So we're gonna just apply it. And this is a pinky sheer balm it's ph vibes pretty it's pretty you guys know me and my nudes i'm gonna put a nude on top of this but this is a lip balm that's why it's so awesome like this in the purse taking this out and applying it on a date at dinner with friends that's a power move gonna wear my Rokael beauty liner but it's in a purse somewhere so I'm just gonna use my one size in the shade Rent Do and just uh, lower the lip a little bit more. I'm tempted to put Made by Mitchell over this but like I am kind of liking it juicy. Like when do I ever wear a lip like this? Like should I stay here? 
Made by Mitchell, also an indie brand, and I ordered all the light, medium, and deep curve cases for my Pro Kit because those, especially the deep curve case, I don't have anything like that in my kit. Like, I have some amazing blushes and contours and stuff, but that, I feel like that will complete my pro makeup kit. Like, I don't have any palettes that have that many shades. Stunning. Stunning, okay? I'll review that when it comes in. And this, I'm glad I did this. This is Nude Rinse. Okay, you guys, so this is our look. I'm excited. I'm just excited to do glam for once. And it's also been a while since I've been in such a chipper mood because I've been feeling bad, like physically bad, uh, mentally low, low, low. Haven't been on here, but I think I'm almost back, you guys. Also, if you wanna check out my friends, uh, Mally Maven on Insta, or he also has a website that I'll link. Look at these beautiful pieces. I'm gonna give you an up close because the Gucci watch, okay, so the truth is, is that I saw him post about this on stories today and I was like, I wanna wear that. It's gonna sell at the flea probably on Sunday or if one of you guys wanna buy it. Um, it's just so, so epic. I saw it and I was like, oh, I need to wear it. So this, these are all his pieces. He always has these cool, Actually, to be honest, I think I prefer one of these. He always has these cool uh, Louis chain necklaces. And I feel like if I had this, I would wear it. Whereas like, if I had this, would I wear it? I don't know. I'm usually more in gold, but uh, he's, a, he's a good friend of mine, funny guy. He's like, oh, we're going to the movies tomorrow. So if you wanna check out his site, I would say do, because that's my bestie. Um, okay, so yeah, this is our look. I'm so excited. I'm almost sad because I feel like I wanted to make another video, but I don't think I can take this makeup off. In fact, I know I can't. Okay, you guys, thank you for getting ready with me, and I'll see you for the next one.